This is who I am. I'm a dictator. I'm the Hitler of the sage. I'm a sinner of a sacrament I forsake. I'm a loner in this world of dismay. I'm a controller of a mind I entertain. All these are meanings of myself I investigate. It's no concealer to this mundane passage of faith. It's time you help me. It's time you never let me go. It's time you felt me. It's all I wanted for so long. So that's how I usually start my workshops. It's not who I am, what my name is, what I've studied, where I come from, I don't give a shit. It's who I am today and what I am right now. So this is You Know Me. You Know Me basically uses music, painting, creative writing, storytelling, whatever you want as a release mechanism, even food. So as long as you're expressing yourself, you find freedom in art, healing and acceptance, and very well break on through to the other side, just like the doors. So music came to me very early in life. I was barely two years old and my dad would make me sit on his lap and put those alphabets on the, on the piano. And he would play music throughout the day, like Crosby, Stills and Nash, and I would just imitate. I would just play along. It made no sense. Then writing came along when I was 11 and uh, I was given a diary on Valentine's Day by my dad again, my first love. And, um, I started writing about my life and, uh, you know, prose became poetry, poetry became songs. You didn't know what you were writing, but it's, it made sense only when it was done. So, um, I didn't realize that I was already collecting tools that were taking care of me even today. So, um, at that point of time, there were just things in my life that I used as mechanisms. Today I use it in my workshop. Um, so philosophy. Philosophy was one of my biggest um, blessings, I would say. So I met my first mentor, Uma Shankar, and I was obsessed with the concept of existentialism. So I started writing my own philosophy. So You Know Me basically started as uh, a magazine in college where I was documenting through art. And uh, I started playing music live when I had enough of songs and I did my first gig at Blue Frog in Mumbai, Bombay. And I realized that my songs kind of connected with a lot of people. I don't know how, but it did. So for me it was not about sex, drugs and rock and roll. It was more like uh, I had somebody like uh, Chester Bennington who committed suicide. And I was like, that man helped me a lot when I was young and nobody could understand me, but he did. And him killing himself was more like he was doing this all his life trying to help people and I felt like my journey was more. So At the Horizon of Happiness is one of my songs. I wrote Disease in 2011 uh, for my mom who was a cancer patient. She passed away in 2016 and that's when this song came into my life. So songs entered or poured out of me uh, at very crucial stages in my life. Cloudy Sunrise is another song, but it relates to meditation. Meditation was another very, very big tool that came to me in 2019. And, um, you know, I always liked the quiet, but I didn't know the beauty of silence. And it's all about listening. It's all about just listening. I mean, today we got inspired by so many people in so many different ways. I might write a song about it. It's a joke. I might. Who knows? Uh, so just listen. Just pay attention to your body, mind and soul. And there is always a way to transmute it. That's what it is. So you take your pain, you take your experiences, you take your emotions, you take your feelings, and you turn it into something. And that's why color, and that's why you know me. Um, it doesn't have to be painting. We all have our own mechanisms, and they all come out in very different ways. Um, and that's why I realized that my songs connected with people and that's the only reason why I play original music and not covers. Not that I hate covers, they're all beautiful songs, but I have a story to tell. 
Um, it's all about a truth that needs to be shared and it's about transcendence. So basically, you got to let go, you got to accept yourself and you got to sit there and contemplate, introspect and turn it into a masterpiece. So I'm going to sing you another song which is called I Choose Myself and the lyrics are there. Please forgive and let go is what I heard down and say Where the clues from faith to make the change And that it does say Please give it up for Valerie. What a beautiful voice and what a beautiful story.